We're climbing through the forest here, looking for any signs of bedrock. We have a couple of deposits that are crossing the road. There's lots of overburden here, lots of uh, old logging, 100 years old. Walking down this creek, finding a few samples, and we just about fell off the edge here. The small creek has eroded about 15 feet, maybe even more, into the overburden. You can see all the till there. Doesn't look like bedrock is anywhere close. Some huge old trees here that they cut. So we have an old road here. We're gonna follow this. All this material here was dug out. From what I understand, there used to be an old train that came through here for logging. So they went pretty deep into the ground, but you see these samples all over the place down on the road as well as up here and you can see quartz and you have pyrite throughout your quartz disseminated We got a bit of bedrock showing here. If you take a look, you can see the uh, the darker stuff, almost black. That's phalerite. All your other shiny stuff there is pyrite. Exposed a bit of bedrock here on the side of this little swamp. You can see that right there is phalerite, definite pyrite disseminated maybe two to five percent of the rock is mineralized definitely consistent rock type with the deposits over there this is interesting as well here this little creek all these soils are just completely rusted out there's this odd little square shaped area here found an old pick someone was looking for something fungus anyone starting to go up quite a bit here found a couple float samples you can see still quite a bit of iron pyrite Shows you you're still in your mineralized zone. We just walked down this creek here. Same bedrock. You got your gray silicus rock with disseminated pyrite. Lots of float samples in this area all along here. With pyrite and again your gray silicus rock. We came out just around that corner, the telephone pole. We covered this whole area from here all the way to about uh, 500 meters that way. Scoured the forest for the last six hours. There's not much exposed. Gonna have to do a lot of trenching up in there, but here at one of the showings, you can see here there's some sphalerite. So drilling in the 70s actually intercepted a 1.36 meter vein with uh, high grade lead, zinc, some copper, decent gold and silver. 
Since then we found some surface samples and some bedrock samples which contain high grade mineralization like this. We had a similar one like this go at about uh, 10 grams per ton gold. And uh, we've seen some samples at close to a thousand grams per ton silver. We just haven't found the definite vein yet. There's lots of small stringers through here. We did find chunks of a vein that were 50 centimeters wide. And uh, this has taken forever to dig down, so my guess is it's just a bit deeper down. This will probably run about uh, 10 to 15 percent lead and equal zinc. You can see how oxidized all this is. And there is a quartz vein right there with about 10% pyrite, calcopyrite, galena, and sphalerite. Here's some quartz with pyrite. Just dug out a bedrock in the road there. This is basically a 75 meter, probably a bit more, uh, minimum zone. And you can see all the areas of oxidization. You got stringers and you got obviously that four and a half foot or 1.36 meter vein that they intercepted 65 meters down. There's obviously stringers everywhere. You can hammer them out of the bedrock. And we did see loads and loads of pyrite going up on the whole backside for about 500 meters. Down there you have a zone similar size, maybe a bit smaller. and. Uh, you see calcopyrite with good gold, silver, and copper. Before we head out, I thought I'd show a couple samples from this zone. Just chip these out of the bank. This is sphalerite, and if we put this under the X or F, it would be between 25 and 35% zinc with good silver, gold, and a couple percent lead. And we know this because we've XRF'd a thousand of these. Here is another one. You can see this one is mostly galena with some sphalerite. And these ones on the XRF show crazy amounts of silver. They got some good gold, silver, lead, and zinc. And this one here, again, you have lots of galena, lots of sphalerite right there with pyrite. And if you put this under the XRF, this area here would show you have a high concentration of arsenic, probably a few percent, which uh, would also show some gold. So this is some high grade ore. We found a 56 centimeter wide chunk of this. So you know there's at least that size of vein somewhere. Probably quite a bit bigger and quite a few of them. This is the area where they popped the drill hole in in the 70s and they drilled, intersected it over there. Almost uh, directly under where that quartz vein is, so obviously that quartz vein has to widen and get quite a bit more mineralized. Show you a couple things on the way to the large copper zone. There's multiple areas like this where you can dig out the bedrock and you see mineralization. And uh, some decent stuff. Looks like uh, pyrite, calcopyrite, and some sphalerite. Lots of samples like this all over the place. So there's lots of small little zones like this from a couple meters wide up to 20 meters wide where you have all this in the bedrock. 
And while you do have some values in here, it's nothing like at the major showings. And a reference point, those samples I just showed you are in a zone that's about 10, 15 meters wide. And if you take a look up in there, you see some flagging tape. About 20 meters behind that is that very first showing we showed you with uh, pyrite and some sphalerite that we dug out of the bank of that old road and behind. Another area here we dug out. You can see all the oxidized gossinous rocks. You got uh, some pyrite and sphalerite here. Nothing crazy, mostly disseminated, but uh, there are little stringers where you can find multicolored iridescent looking mineral and uh, we've tested it with the XRF and it's basically just straight pyrite so I don't know what's going on with the iridescent color maybe it has a little bit of copper in it which is causing that you got your gray silicus rock again with pyrite and we're sort of at the uh, start of the zone where you can find samples of massive calcopyrite nice big hunk there and the bedrock is starting to get a little bit more oxidized and this is where you can find sporadic mineralization mostly calcopyrite but if you take a look here you got pyrite and sphalerite some calcopyrite right here So in the ditch from about here on, you can find sporadic copper mineralization. About every three weeks they come and they dig this out and grade it because it just fills up with rocks and water and sticks. So there's not too much exposed right now, but we'll go closer to where more bedrock is exposed and uh, see a few samples. So originally, when they found this, this was about 25 years ago, they exposed a large body of solid calcopyrite, which was about one and a half meters wide by 10 meters long. Not as much exposed now because of road widening, but you can see obvious mineralization, obvious malachite staining. Here's a couple samples we just hammered off. Obvious calcopyrite there. Malachite. And more calcopyrite. So this is all solid mineral there. This one looks like it's got a little bit of arsenic in it. Which is good because the samples with high arsenic often contain the highest gold here. Again, solid calcopyrite. Here's a nice one we just hammered off bedrock. Now picture a 10 meter long block like this. Another nice hunk here. I'll hammer this in half. Just noticed another one right there. There's that sample hammered in half. Other piece. And the last half. Not only can you find arsenopyrite, you can find massive solid hunks of pyrite here.
we found a 70 kilogram boulder of this stuff which is about 150 pounds of just solid pyrite some more interesting samples here looks like you got sphalerite and uh, pyrite Here's a couple with arsenopyrite. Right here. These ones are pretty high in gold. There's quite a few samples here. Anyway. That's basically it for this portion of the claim. Hope you guys enjoyed. We did a long walk today, about two kilometer round trip through the forest. Found lots of samples. That's it, take care.